What's up guys, Matt from the Nerdy Review here. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on using circular sketch patterns in Fusion 360. So for this tutorial, I'm going to model a simple impeller like you would find in a centrifugal pump. Now how these impellers work, just a quick little summary, is basically a fluid comes through this little hole here, and then the rotational force created by the pump as it rotates sends the fluid flying out, and that outward thrust can then be taken advantage of to create the pumping mechanism. And that's a very, very basic summary of how this works. Um, I probably will make a video of 3D printing a little centrifugal pump here and showing how it works in action, so stay tuned for that. But getting started, we're going to create a sketch on the top plane. We're going to create two circles, one for the intake port. Whoops, I meant to do four inches here. And then we're going to extrude this five millimeters thick. Okay, so now we're going to sketch the veins of the impeller. And for this, we're going to start a new sketch. We want to make them spaced a little bit off the intake port. So we're going to make one circle right here. And we're going to make this 25 millimeters. Then we're also going to create another circle outlining the boundary. And you'll see why in a second once we start sketching the splines for the veins. Okay, I'm going to create a couple lines here to use as reference geometry so that I know where to place the start points for the splines. I'm going to select all three of these and make them construction lines. And then I'm going to set these to a distance of 1.5 millimeters, which will give us a total thickness of 3 millimeters. Now I'm going to get started with the splines. We're going to choose a fit point spline, and we're going to use these two spots as our start points. So for the first one, it's going to do something like that. And then for the next one, what we want to do here is just try to keep it about the same distance from the other line all the way across. Okay, and now we're going to use the trim tool to delete all these segments of the circles that don't have to do with the actual vein. It's going to leave us with just these four lines. Okay, so now we're going to choose circular sketch pattern. To use circular sketch pattern, first you choose the objects that you want to pattern. So what we want to pattern is these four lines. Then you choose the center point to pattern them about. So we're going to choose the middle there. Okay, so we're going to do seven total. But before I click OK, I'm actually going to explain the different kinds of circular patterns here. So right now we're doing a full circle, so it's going to model it as if we're doing a seven of these veins in a complete circle. We could also choose to do an angle. and We could do one every 10 degrees. That's pretty bunched up. One every 35 degrees. Okay, for the most part though, you'll probably just find yourself doing uh, the full, or at least I do. I'm gonna select okay. Now I'm going to extrude these. Twenty-five millimeters. And boom. We have a simple impeller. Okay, and again, stay tuned. I'm going to 3D print one of these soon and you know design the rest of the pump around it. And we're going to see how it works. 
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can click like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Have a great day.